I got blessings falling on me. I got weapons, need no army. That like Tetris, you don't know me. That my fatty, you don't. What's up, y'all? I'm back for another video. I know it's been a minute, and I say this all the time. Let me turn this volume up. Okay, it's up. Hope you, you hope y'all can hear me. Anyway. I say this all the time. I swear every time I make a video, I'm like, I know it's been a while, but it has my bad. I'm so sorry. Life, girl, I'll get into it in a minute. Give me a minute. So I just wanted to say hello to everyone. Let's start off the video with that because it's been so long since I've made. That's that's incorrect. I've made plenty of content. I just haven't put it out there. It's just been a lot going on, you guys, and it always seems to be. Okay, so let's start off with this. If you guys see this in my videos and upcoming videos, just know I'm okay. I didn't break it. Um, no, I didn't break it. <laughs> but I think, I don't know. I can't even, I can't even speculate because I was going to say maybe it's a sprain or something. But off and on, it, it's not a sprain because a sprain is muscular. And when that happens, you, you know, once it's, once that pain is gone, it's gone usually unless you sprain it again. Um, hold on you guys. Cause my kids, if you hear them, they're playing in the other room and they're really, really loud. Hi. Y'all heard that was my daughter. They don't want nothing. They just got out of school and they are on a hundred right now. So anyway, as I was saying, I did something to my wrist because every so often it bothers me and there's no rhyme or reason to it. Like I can't pinpoint why it just does. And so the last couple of days I've even been sleeping in it. It's been so bad. Um, I went to the bone doctor, which for some reason today I cannot remember the name of the doctor. But anyway, I went to that doctor um, about a month or so ago, if not a little longer. And they were like, well, they don't see anything, you know, it's not much they can do if something's not like something's like really going on or something's broken or something like that because, you know, they're a the doctor for the bone. So sorry that my computer keeps moving. <laughs> it's sitting on my leg. I don't even have my camera, my phone anyway. So anyway, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it is muscular or something with the tendons or what. I don't know, but I'm going to have to go back to the doctor so they can recommend something because obviously the x-ray shows it is not broken, but it's still in pain. And every so often I'll do something without the brace and it feels like something in the middle of my wrist is like shifting or pulling or something. It's really weird and it hurts. So anyway, if you see that, that's what that's about. Let's move on, shall we? Okay. So, I'm sorry, you guys. My face is so dry. It's been like 20 degrees all day where I am. And it's just cold and dry. But anyway. um, Recently, I have had, the last couple months, I've had a handful of deaths in my family. And for some reason, it seems like, you know, another couple weeks pass and then there's another one or something. Um, I had a really, really close uncle that passed a few months ago and i had to travel all the way to georgia to go to the funeral we had a funeral here and in georgia because we have so much family there and he was being buried there um so yeah that was something and then my cousin's fiance passed and um you know i was helping her with the obituary and i actually read from the obituary at his funeral and that was a tragedy like it was it was a tragedy um, it, it was just how he passed. That was the thing. Um, and then I had, um, a cousin that passed and then, um, recently my cousins, um, I had another cousin, um, which is my closest cousin's brother. So still my cousin, um, <laughs> um, he passed. So it's just been one thing after the next, you guys, it really has. Um, also with the house. Um, I've been doing certain things and kind of changing certain things. And so that's been a project, but I'm kind of keeping that on the back burner just a little bit because I kind of want to do some reveals when I finish with different rooms. And I feel as I feel still that I don't have enough like decorations and things and I, the house isn't the way I want it to look as far as decor. So that's I'm working on that. You know, I'm trying to do I'm trying to fit in a lot of DIY. So basically I can have what I want without spending a lot. And I'll do videos on that, too, as soon as I get to that portion of life, okay? Next is I've been trying to find a remote position, whether it's something more permanent or even temporary, because, I, of course, you know, I want to get my businesses to the point where they are paying me full-time, okay? I want the money to work for me. I don't want to work keep working towards money, you know what I mean? And um, I have kind of backed 
backed. <laughs> I've kind of backed down on my businesses and my business plan. I think um, because of that, that's where that's why I'm not where I want to be with it. But I want to revamp a few things and I kind of want to see where I can if I can combine a few things, I'm just revamping things. It's I'm going to do a whole nother separate video on that because it's a little bit of a lot, if you know what I mean. So um, that's that. So I've been trying to find a remote position so I can work but still be from home. I had one earlier this year, but the scheduling didn't work out quite well. Um, things are going to be slightly different coming up soon. So um definitely looking for that um that's been a job in itself to say the least um i found a couple but they weren't i'm not being picky you guys i'm really not being picky it's just some things just i have to have a certain way for example like scheduling because i have three kids and hubby and house and this and that and that and this um i don't know what just happened to my camera it keeps moving y'all Sorry, you guys. My camera kept doing something really weird. But um, I don't know if I'm going to cut out the last things I was saying. Because I was like, oh, what? My camera, y'all. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, um, as I was saying, uh, with all the schedules and everything that I have to go around, especially um, hubby's schedule can be different on a daily basis. It can be different on a weekly basis. He can work from home for two weeks straight and then be off for two weeks straight and then have to go in for two weeks straight, like, or work overnight. So I can't rely on much with him and his schedule. And then my daughter, my oldest daughter, she does sports and she has clubs and different things like that. So that's another schedule I have to go around. And then I have two more kids on top of that. So <laughs> um, luckily for me right now, all of them aren't doing something at the same time because then I will probably be pulling every strand of hair on my body out. But neither here nor there at the moment. But what I'm saying is it's hard for me to um, find something that's not like I have to be 100% flexible weekends, nights, holidays. Like, you know what I mean? Like I have to have something set so I can set other things up. So if I'm working at night, I can set what I need to set up during the day and work at night. And it's total opposite. You know what I mean? It's just just certain things, certain criteria is what I'm trying to say without being too dramatically picky so that's been a task on its own and I think to be honest with you I kind of lost life for a second wrapped up in that because I at one point I was doing that in school and that's another thing I, I'm in school that's not going as well as I thought it would and I'll get into that in a second but um what I was saying I think I kind of lost like the foreground of things so like i let a lot of things get away from me and fly by me because my sole focus was of course taking care of the kids in the house and everything but my sole focus other than that 100 percent for the last few months have been trying to find a remote position trying to find a remote position so i actually went to an interview last week um t with a remote position i got the position which i was somewhat excited about but um, the pay is kind of low, which I'm okay with right now. Just be, if it's remote, you know what I mean? Cause I'm like, well, you know, to get paid from work from home, I can always do th this until I find something better. But then, um, it came across to me. I don't know. The, the company is not like shady or anything, but it's just more, um, like a, uh, like a, a up style call center. And it's almost like i'm not 100 percent sure like about this but it's almost like they'll just hire anybody just to be able to have people there or the turnover rate is not great like i don't know what it is but um i don't want to be in a call center if that makes sense uh, i'm more of like an administrative assistant type thing data entry something like that um but once again it's something i guess until i can get something better but that's been a task on its own and I've really lost the foreground of things because of it. Um, I, I noticed that recently and I remember looking at my room like, oh, girl, <laughs> you got to slow down. You got this job now. You can keep looking in your spare time. You know what I mean? Get get your, get your together. Okay. The, all the way together. And so I had to get my shit together. Okay. I had to get it together. So what else um i said i was gonna talk about in a second oh school okay so i started i don't know if y'all knew but i have been in school for rn off and on for years um i got to the point 
where I'm like, okay, now I can get accepted into any program because I've gotten all the prerequisites and everything that I needed, good to go, boom, I was ready. Then I had an incident. I could do a separate video on this if y'all got if you guys want to know what happened. But there was an incident with my advisor, and it was a whole big thing. Long story short is, um, I couldn't get into the program. Okay, this was a couple years ago. I was so disappointed and so depressed about it that I just cut school out of my mind altogether because I was just, this is what I've always wanted to do to be an RN, you know. So and I got did all this work and got to this point and. Like I said, I could do a separate story on that if y'all want me to. Just um, let me know down below and I will do that. But when we moved here, um, shortly after I, I was thinking about school, then I was like, nope, talk myself out of it. I didn't want to go through any, you know, extra or whatever. And I didn't want to do anything else, you know what I mean? And so a few months ago, I was like, you know what? No, I'm going to look into it and see what I can do. Um, so I did and... I decided to change my major. Technically, I could have went back. Once again, I'll do a video if you want me to. I could have went back for RN, but I chose to change my major. So I changed my major, and it was going good. It was going really good. And then me and hubby got into this Christmas lights and things. I'm actually going to um, put a video, a short video up after this one, I believe, that shows our um, Christmas lights and everything and how we did it. Um, we have the lights set up in a program to where... It goes with songs, and we have, like, singing Christmas trees. It's really cute. But I'll do that after this, hopefully. Um, but once we got into all of that, it took a lot more time out of me than I thought it would take. And so I got behind in school work and got behind in school, and I just I could never catch up. And I didn't realize with the classes that I'm taking that it's so much. It's not necessarily so much work as it is a lot of homework. I'm talking about you can have 10, 12 things due for the same one class on the same day. Like, and this is all week. And I was taking four classes. So it was, it was, it was a lot. And I never could really catch up. And now I'm at the point where um, I'm in this program and I don't know if I'm going to, going to succeed within the program. And that scares me because if I want to go back and try again, which that's my mindset right now, because there's no way I'm passing this semester. Um, I don't know if I can. And this basically was like the only way for me to go back to school. If that makes sense. Girl, I can make separate videos on all of this stuff. I'm telling you and go just go into more detail to let y'all to let you guys know, like, you know, what it really was when I say a lot was going on. So I'm de I'm still dealing with that. I'm, that's not even solved yet. I'm still dealing with that. Um, yeah, you, you guys, it's been so much. It's been so much. We didn't do much over this past um, summer like we normally do. It's just been, it's been a lot. So <laughs> now that I am here, I just, I watch YouTube every single day. There's not a day that passes that I don't watch YouTube. And I'll be watching some people and i just be like, why am I not posting right now? Like, why am I not posting? Do y'all get me? And I almost thought that I had, um, like seasonal depression. I don't have seasonal depression. I have everyday depression. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, it's been like that. And I don't know, you guys. I just don't know. Have y'all ever, you know, just, just a thumbs up. If you ever had this type of period within your life, this chunk of life right here where you was just like, F it. Like, F it. You know what I mean? I'm slowly getting out of it. I'm slowly trying to get myself back together. Yesterday, I cleaned my bedroom. I cleaned my bathroom. Today, I cleaned my entire closet. I'm washing clothes. Like, I'm doing things like I normally would. Trying to get back in my normal routine. But you guys, it's been something. It has been something. So I want to do better for 2023 for y'all. I'm going to put out more content. I want to do more interesting content because sometimes I'll be sitting here talking, rambling like I am now. Um, and I'm not going to keep doing these updates, updates, updates because I haven't been on here for months or weeks or whatever. I'm not doing that no more. I'm going to try to have a schedule for myself so I can keep myself accountable for y'all. I'm going to do one to two videos per week, if not three. And we're going to go from there because I want to grow my channel back to where I had it before. I used to have 50,000 subscribers, a little over. And because of YouTube, my whole channel got went here and there, went there, whatever. So this is my newer channel, even though it's been established the last few years. Um, and I want to grow my channel back, y'all. 
I want to do more things. I want to have the mentality of taking out my phone or taking out my camera and filming and doing things like yesterday and today. I cleaned my bathroom. I cleaned my room. I cleaned my closet. I didn't film anything. Like I need to get back in that mindset of YouTube. I love YouTube so much and I love you guys so much. Y'all are the best. I just, I need to do better. Y'all, y'all help me. Okay. Help me help you help everybody. Let's go. Okay, you guys, I love you guys so much. This was just a little snippet. Like I said, if you want to hear the extra, the rest, or you want to hear the individual stories, please let me know down below. Thank you so, so much for subscribing or tuning in. If you're not subscribed, please don't miss what's coming. Please. Because if you miss it, it's on you. I'm telling you right now. It's on you. It's not on me. And we're not doing this. Okay? We're we not going to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit that subscribe button down there. That button right No, right there. Right there, yeah, right there. And that bell button too, so you already know when I post something, you get that thing. Okay, you want that thing, thing? you're going to get it if you push that button down there. You hear me? Both of them. Both of them. All right? All right, y'all. So, I'm going to talk to y'all later. I love you guys so much. And stay tuned. Bye.